Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today we're going to be going over LTCN, BCHG, and HZEN in addition to the other grayscale trusts. So with that being said, let's get it. So this is going to be kind of a different video. We're not actually going to talk so much about the um, the local lows, local highs, stuff like that. What we're going to talk about is kind of more of the big picture thing today. So uh, what I want to point out to you guys before we get started with the actual Grayscale Trust is we just posted this on X. So as you guys can see, Bitcoin is smashing to all-time highs right now. Um, it has gotten to this resistance zone, which is obviously a major resistance. So it may be a little difficult for it to get past this. Um, there, There is a strong possibility at this point that Bitcoin may go past its all-time highs before the Bitcoin halving which has never happened in history. And if it does, then that means that we're going to start the Bitcoin bull run early. So um, there was a stat that I saw the other day that said that the last time that Bitcoin hit 57,000 in a bull run, it went to new all-time highs within eight days. Uh, last time I was looking at the price action at 57,000, um, you know, it pretty much just shot straight from 57,000 to almost 64,000 pretty much instantaneously. So at this point, it's kind of looking like maybe we might still push to all time highs. It's really, really difficult to say. Um, obviously, the big picture timeframes are still very overextended, as you can see the EMA is all the way down here. And we already went over the monthly in our previous Bitcoin video. If you didn't see that, go check it out. So what is my point in saying all this? Well, basically what I'm trying to say is if Bitcoin gets past its all-time highs before the halving event, then LTCN, BCHG, HZN, and all these other grayscale trusts could start moonshotting before the end of the year, okay? No guarantees, obviously. There's no guarantees that it could happen, but if it does happen, then the likelihood increases significantly of these grayscale trusts going up massively in value in the coming weeks and months okay so um we do still have our ltcm position as you can see here we took a little profit on bchg so we're going to get back in here shortly um when we do i think it's uh if i'm not mistaken i think tomorrow is the day that we get back into bchg but uh, you know there's a settlement times it's just a the cost of doing business unfortunately in finance but you know a small price to pay so um we plan on getting back into BCHG and we're just simply going to hold our positions at that point because we think that there's becoming a very strong likelihood at this point that uh, Bitcoin and all the grayscale trusts and even the altcoins could start moonshotting much faster than expected. Um, again, we've gone from whatever the price was of Bitcoin before the spot Bitcoin ETFs at like 40 some thousand all the way up to almost all time highs now very quickly. Uh, and it was just not expected to be this fast. So anyways, um, we'll take a look at LTCN here. You guys can still see that we're in the ascending triangle pattern. Uh, we did have a request on X for what the target would be. So uh, I'm going to try to measure this out as best as I can. I would say that the triangle pattern probably started right about here as a more conservative estimate. So if we take a look at that and we measure it from the breakout point, uh, the target for that would be, let's actually uh, move this down a little bit. So there we go. That's more like it. Uh, it would be about $21. Now, if it were to, let's just say it started from this point back here, which is obviously much lower, uh, but that's pretty much more or less where it started from. Then the uh, target would be much higher. As you guys can see, it would be all the way up there at nearly 25 bucks. 25 bucks is a major resistance area for LTCN, as you guys can see. So that lines up perfectly. There's also another scenario that can play out here. This is a triangle pattern, as you guys can see. And essentially the uh, triangle pattern itself would basically have the same target, but it's just a different bullish pattern. So what I want to go over here, uh, more so in these videos, is what the potential upside is. So you guys can see that the Previous all time high is 510000 or 510000 uh $510 uh, per share. So if we do the measured move to the all time highs from where we are currently, that's a 36X on your money. Let's just say you put, you know, a relatively conservative amount in. This is what you would get roughly for your money if you put as much as we put in. Uh, this is roughly what that would look like at the top. 
Now, let's just say hypothetically that, you know, uh, Bitcoin's going to do something similar to what gold did when their ETF came out. And yes, on the next video, we do plan on getting you guys that graph, the gold graph and what happened after the ETF was the first ETF ever was approved for gold. Uh, the returns were ridiculous. I think gold did like a 20x or something like that. So, um, I mean, l let's just put it like this. If Bitcoin did a 10x from its previous all-time highs, it put it at 700,000. I mean, I'm pretty confident that LTCM would go to new all-time highs and also Litecoin would go to new all-time highs. So let's just say that LTCM doubled. That's all it did. Uh, you know, and we'll say Bitcoin went to a half a million. Um, LTCM just simply doubled. That's all it did. And the, you know, target price then became a thousand and you bought in at this current price, you'd be looking at about 70 X. Uh, you guys obviously know what 70 times a thousand is. So we'll do 70 times, uh, what we have invested. So you guys can see the numbers here. It's pretty astronomical. So, um, HZEN, let's do a quick zoom in here real quick on HZEN. HZEN is looking very bullish. If we get a candle close above this, uh, support zone between 380 to 425, we're heading up to $7 to $8 most likely. So the whole layout for HN is looking bullish, although the RSI is overbought, but Bitcoin does not seem to want to slow down. So it's something to keep in mind there. Uh, so the previous all-time high is $30. I would say that HN could probably go somewhere between 40 to 50. I say this because Horizon, the underlying token, uh, in both of the two previous cycles that had it hit new all-time highs. Um, and HZEN is not really an oscillator for Bitcoin. It's just kind of its own token. But the fact that the underlying, or sorry, not HZEN, ZEN is its own token. But the fact that ZEN went to new all-time highs twice is, you know, that's kind of a big deal. So uh, we'll say 30 divided by the current price. So that's pretty much about what you would get. Uh, it's not as good as LTCM, but still not bad. And we'll just round it up and say a 7X. So if you just put like a small amount in and that would pretty much be what your numbers are right there, right there. That's pretty good. Just so y'all know. Uh, if we do the, we'll just say it goes up to 50 bucks, which I don't see any reason why I couldn't, because again, this is the, uh, this is not going to be a normal cycle. We have the, uh, big Bitcoin spot ETFs this time around. So, uh, you get a roughly about 11, just say 11.25 X. You guys can kind of see like how this really starts to add up. It really starts to make a huge difference, especially if you can time getting in and out of these tokens, right? Uh, you know, basically buy or selling hope, selling high, buying low, that kind of thing. Then you obviously can understand just how exponential this process could be. So BCHG, very similar, still looking very bullish. And we're kind of stuck in between those two areas, the uh, support and resistance. If we measure the move here on the ascending triangle, you guys can see that the target is pretty far up there. It's roughly about 680 to a share. Uh, that does kind of more or less line up with this candle wick up here. So there's some confluence there on some stage. But... Uh, the previous all-time high for BCHG was about $60 a share. So you're looking at roughly about a 15X on this. So we'll just be a little bit conservative here. Um, we'll just say that's all you put in. I mean, that's pretty much what you would get right there. A 15X your money. Uh, so GXLM still sitting on the EMAs. Um, at this point with Bitcoin going to all-time highs, I would... If I was going to get into GXLM, I would do it right now, irrespective of the price, because once Bitcoin breaks previous all-time highs, everything else at some point very quickly is probably going to start moonshotting. So um, the support still rem remains the same, roughly about $4 to $12. Resistance is 53 to 57 uh, So the measured move from where it is currently to the all-time highs is roughly about... Uh, I would say just shy of a 4x, about 3.75x. You guys can do the math on that. It's pretty simple. Um, so we'll just take a standard amount here times 3.75x. You guys can see that's still quite a bit of money. So ETH E looking very bullish. That makes perfect sense because Ethereum is also very bullish. As you guys can see, even though Bitcoin just did just have 
pretty sizable pullback from 40,000 um, or sorry, 60,000. You guys can see that ETH gla- or Ethereum, the underlying is actually still up pretty substantially. So we're sitting in resistance. Um, this whole moving up here thing is very bullish. This could be a potential cup and, cup and handle pattern forming. We don't know yet, uh, but it does look like that could be forming. Uh, so you get this cup and then you would get something like a handle and then you get a breakout. That's a very bullish pattern. So uh, the thing that I want to point out here is kind of more or less what the potential could be. So all time high is $68. I could see this thing easily doubling because Ethereum is probably going to go up from the previous all time high of 4,500 to, I would say at least, I'd say at least a three and three and a half X is realistic. So maybe as high as 15,000, if that happens, then this thing could easily double. So we'll just say that the price targets 130 bucks divided by the current price. You guys can see what that would be. Not too bad. So we'll, uh, again, take the measured move, kind of give you guys an idea of what this would look like. So it'd be looking at roughly about 9,000 bucks. So ETH Classic, uh, this is an oscillator. Um, how we would do this one is we would get into ETH first and then we would move our money in, over into ETH Classic. But as you guys can see, this has a very bullish formation as well. Another ascending triangle kind of formation going on here, whether it plays out like that or not remains to be seen. But the target would be roughly about, or actually that's not even accurate, sorry. So we'll move that down a little bit. Uh, the target would be roughly around 22 bucks. So you'd be taking a look at roughly, I think, that would be around 40%. Um, so zooming out here a lot, you guys can see that uh, $96 is the previous all-time high. So 96 divided by 13, uh, that's pretty good. I would say that ETH Classic will probably do a little bit more than that. As you guys can see here on this peak, and uh, let's go back even further. So you guys can see on this peak in Bitcoin's run up, it had already gone up roughly about halfway to the previous all-time highs. Um, I think that I think that ETH Classic might hit just as hard, if not a little bit harder than ETH. I say that because it oscillates. Uh, so it's pretty tough to say what the price point could be here. I would say probably a 2x the previous high. So uh, we'll, we'll have to fi- pull out the Fibonacci's and the Bollinger Bands here soon, but we'll just go with a 2x previous all-time highs for now. Uh, say that could potentially be the target. This is roughly what you'd be looking at. So it's obviously a much greater return. If you were to go ahead and get in now, you guys can kind of see what those numbers would add up to be. So Zcash. Um, Zcash looking very bullish, although it did have a pullback, so that's a little concerning. But um I mean, you guys pretty much know where these targets are. You can go back in previous videos and look, but uh, so you got 140, 180, 270, $4, 430, and about $5. Um, no particular patterns going on here right now that I'm able to see, but the previous all time high is way up there at 40 bucks, and the current price is at 365. So, pretty much right out of the gate, you get at least a 10, maybe 11x. So yeah, roughly about 11x. So if you guys just decided to put, you know, a relatively small amount in, this is pretty much what you would get. Uh, GSol, this thing has just absolutely blasted off. It makes perfect sense because Solana is going up. Take a quick look at Solana here uh, on the bird's eye view. You guys can see. Actually, I gotta find it real quick. So yeah, there it is right there. You guys can see Solana's up massively. So. Um, sky's the limit for this one. I mean, if Solana goes truly does go up to a thousand dollars, which I know a lot of people in the crypto space are saying Solana could go to a thousand dollars, which when you think about it, it kind of makes sense because Ethereum's first cycle peak was like 1400. So it pretty much would be mirroring Ethereum. It wouldn't be exactly 1400, but a thousand is still pretty good return from these bottoms. Um, or from the bottom of Solana, which I think was like about $20 per token. That's a pretty good return. So, uh, we'll just, we'll just say hypothetically that GSOL mirrors. Well, no, that's not realistic. Okay. So Solana is currently $115. This is about 264. We'll say that GSOL is about a two X what Solana is. Um, so I would say if Solana goes to a thousand bucks, this thing could probably hit about 
2,000, maybe 2,500. We'll be a little conservative here. Say it hits 2,000. Uh, the price that, or basically you get about a seven and a half X on this. So the measured move here, as you guys can see with the initial investment, this is roughly about what your return would be. Uh, me personally, again, I would at least wait until it gets back into the support zone. I wouldn't be buying all the way up here. This massive wick at the top is very bearish, just so you all know. Uh, generally, that means that there's selling pressure and sellers and or profit takers are pushing the price down. So I'd be waiting for a retracement on this one. Uh, so mana, mana is looking very bullish. It looks like this candle might be about ready to break out, but it is kind of an indecision candle. You have a wick at the bottom and the top. That means that there's no actual move taking place yet. Uh, so Decentraland went to $6 in the previous all-time high. It's currently, I think, like 50 or 60 cents. So if that does an 11x and this does 2x that, you could be taking a look at potentially um, maybe like a 20x on this. It seems pretty crazy, but I mean, again, you guys can understand crypto is just crypto can get ridiculous during a bull run and a hype cycle and everybody FOMOs in. And, you know, we look on those on the trend charts that we show you on the, the Bitcoin weekly updates we do. And you guys see just how crazy the FOMO can get. So uh, we'll just take what the rough estimate of a return would be. And uh, you guys can kind of see based on the initial investment what the amount would be here. So uh, BAT, uh, I, I personally, well, I can't say that I would buy the BAT token. We did actually own the BAT token, basic attention token in the previous cycle. As you guys can see here, we use the BAT, uh, the BAT browser. Uh, we do actually like it a lot, just so you all know. So um, it's looking very bullish here. We had the breakout. This is a very bullish looking candle. It almost looks like a hammer candle uh, with a long wick and a small basically head or body at the top. Uh, but we have two days till close, so we don't know what that looks like yet. <clears throat> But uh, I'm actually going to have to go back and look at BAT. I think BAT, we don't even have BAT on our watch list right now, but you know what? Let's just take a look at it. So uh, that's not what I wanted. So I'll try this. BAT USD. There we go. Basic attention token. <clears throat> so you guys can see that the previous all time high was $1.93. Current price is 26 cents. So we'll say that's roughly about a. 8x if that was an 8x and this thing does double that because you know of the premiums and stuff like that you could be taking a look at a 16x so we'll do 820 times a 16x this would be roughly about your uh target price right here so if this thing does a 16x and you guys will just again pick an arbitrary number here on the initial investment this is what you could be looking at uh, us personally, we'd be waiting for a pullback. Again, there is no guarantee that these altcoins are going to pop off immediately and Bitcoin could have a massive sell-off still. That is still a risk. Bitcoin is still massively overextended. The EMAs and the RSI are screaming pullback, but we just don't know. I mean, it looks like Bitcoin is going to break its all-time highs, but it's hard to say if it's going to do it yet or not. We don't know. We won't know until either we get a huge rejection or a huge breakout. And we're pretty much on the cusp of that happening right now. So um, G-Link, as you guys can see, this is massively bullish. Although this uh, long wick and this candle here is not very convincing. It looks like a pullback might be coming. Again, we'd be waiting to buy the dip somewhere between $40 to, I would say, probably about maybe somewhere in the range of about 40 to 60 bucks. Let's take a look at the Link token. Um, so I'm not sure what that what this uh, crypto exchange is, but we'll just look at it anyways. So $50 was the previous all-time high. Um, I would say Link could probably go to at least 100 maybe $150. I think that's possible. So if that were to happen, let's just say it does go to 150 bucks. Divide that by the current price of Link. And then times that times two for obviously the premiums on the Grayscale Trust, you could be looking at roughly about a 16x on your money. Um, so what would what would that put a, basically a 16x? Okay, let's try this again. 16x. <laughs> 16x times 97. Okay, here we go. So um, I, I don't know that it's going to go that high. Uh, 
I mean, that's possible. We'll say maybe a 10 X, maybe G link goes to a thousand bucks. Uh, but you know, it, I suppose it's possible. I don't know, but we'll, we'll just do a conservative 10 X here. You guys can see what the returns on that would be. Uh, Phil G, this thing's just gone bonkers. Again, Filecoin has not gone anywhere, so you can only imagine uh, what the move on Phil G would be. Um, we do have some Filecoin, just so you all know, but it pretty much hasn't really gone much of anywhere. It's just kind of sitting there. So it's hard to say where exactly the uh, target could be. I mean, Filecoin at its previous peak was two dollars and thirty six cents. It's current or two hundred thirty six dollars. Their current price is uh, seven dollars and fifty cents. So, I mean, a potential thirty one x from here. If it just, we'll just say it does a twenty x. That's all it does. If you get a forty x on the Grayscale Trust, which again, I don't think it's going to go this high, but you guys can see what the numbers would be right here. Um, I would probably pin Phil G at maybe like a ten x from here. I don't know that it can really do much more than that. But then again, I also don't know what the market cap of Phil G is. I'd have to go to Grayscale and look. So if you guys take the measured move here, you guys can see roughly about what the target would be. And uh, GLIV, this one is potentially uh, getting ready to break out of a, what looks to be maybe, not entirely sure about this, but maybe, a cup and handle pattern here for those of you traders on this channel you can see what i'm talking about this looks like a massive cup and then a handle and we might get a breakout here so um the target for this thing would be pretty large uh again i wouldn't be getting in at this price i would wait for a pullback but basically the target from the breakout well actually the breakouts right roughly around here as you guys can see would be roughly about thirty four dollars and sixty three cents so again roughly about a sixty percent gain um, i don't know too much about glib so you guys will have to do your own research on this on uh the live peer trust or live peer token uh, let me know what you guys think about it down below and um Anyways, I got to go. I got stuff to do, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this content. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see y'all later. Peace.